Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. So where is... Where's the pasture at again? I don't know if I've ever actually visited the pasture. Is it over here? <laughs> this looks like a pasture. Hi, Marie. Are you past? Oh, yes. The pastures uh, house the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. Do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? It will eventually get full. Uh, you get some bombs, and you need to throw, and you need to throw them at the nobles. Okay. Um, we're gonna move this. Wait, what level is Cricketune? Ooh, Cricketune is high level here. <laughs> I'm still gonna use Cyndaquil as my main. Um. Level 8. This is a level 10 Geodude. That might be where we stay. Level 2. That thing is garbage. Trashola. Alright, we got the strongest now. We got Cyndaquil, level 11. Cricketune, Starly, Shinx, Bidoof, and Geodude. Alright, we got a squad. That saved, right? Did I miss a button? Hold on. Let me just... Okay, good. <laughs> I was afraid that I hit B and then it didn't save my squad and I was going to get out there and I was still going to have a pocket full of Bidoofs. Cricketune is an alpha. Yeah, I'm, I'm hyped to see if that's actually how Cricketune does in battle. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're... Uh, but, but, uh, where's the general store? I don't think I visited the general store yet. Are you a general store? No, you're Benny. Benny and the Jets with the, uh, the wallflower food. What do you do? Who are you? You there. You seem like someone who enjoys a bit of craft. Oh, yeah, you have the workbench. Why did he just yell at me? Oh, he's giving me a recipe, though. A Pokeshi doll? A recipe for crafting Pokeshi dolls from scratch. Okay, three logs. Please make me a Pokeshi doll. Okay. I don't think I have any logs, though. <laughs> I made five revives, so I need logs. Can I just steal some of his wood? You want me to make you a Pokeshi doll, but, like, you're not going to give me any wood? Bee lover, welcome to the uh, the stream here. Hey, long time no, no see. How have you been? I've been doing great. How, how about you? Uh, a photo. I don't care about the photos. Where can I find... Is, is there wood that I can grab from inside here somewhere? general store. I just wanted... Hey, you there. No, I don't want to accept any quests or do any of this nonsense. What I'm really just looking for is, like, the ability to buy some Pokeballs. Are you a general store? No, you're clothing. You look like just clothing. You said inside the campsite? <laughs> oh, you mean, like, we set out. Okay. Probably. You mean like a, one of the base camp things? I'm gonna roll out Autobots. How are things, my good friend? Why does everybody have to yell at me? Like, chill out, people. I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Literally not even once. No. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. 
Oh, think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know? Supporting, f supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. <laughs> Hands me nothing. Obtain Super Potion. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Okay. Heading outside the village, are we? Stay safe out there, kid. Yeah, so we're going to... Heights Camp, right? Said Volo is the secret villain. Aw, oh, spoiler! I believe it. It's fine, I don't like him anyway. <laughs> um... Oh, buy items. Hey, Buster, I'm looking for some Pokeballs. You look identical to every other person in this entire game. There's a single gnat just flying around my head, and I just... I'm gonna get it. By the end of this stream, by the end of this long recording, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> uh, I want to see my Pokemon. I'd like to do some shopping now. Give me the Pokeballs. I have all the monies. Give me... 20 Pokeballs. What is this? A cake lore? No thanks. <laughs> I see you retracted that spoiler. It's too late. It's already, it's already canon. I, I said it out loud. I read it out loud and now it's just, it's just here now. <laughs> it's... Alright, so we're running this way, right? Over the hill here. I'm not trying to fight you, Starly. Alright, now we're gonna just, like, go full, like, Batman and look out over my kingdom. Okay, there's a lot of Geo dudes over there that I'm not super stoked about uh, going over to. There's that hill over there, though. Yeah, I guess when you look out from the distance, the sharp, jagged edges of certain things, like, I can see why people complain about the graphics. I mean, I don't I don't mind it terribly. I didn't come into it thinking, like, oh, this is going to be the highest graphically whatever game I've ever seen. But, I mean, yeah, I can see why people are complaining. I'm just going to jump off this cliff and hope not to die, because it's either that or fight Geodude, and Geodude is after me. Medicinal leak! Hurry! If I just keep running, will the Geodudes leave me alone? Or are they just gonna fly up behind me and punch me in the head? <laughs> Nature's pantry. More medicinal leaks! Get it! Ooh, we got a Pikachu over there. Pikachu? Pika Pika? Hey, we got a Pikachu. And then a bunch of little dudes I don't really care about all that much. Uh, catch Starly, and when you get it, Pokedex level 10, oh, uh, you can get shiny chances more. Oh. Wait, I have to get my Pokedex to level 10? Or the uh, Starly? Okay, so, like, research level 10 for Starly. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna catch a couple more Starlies then when I see them next. Oh, there's a Starly? <laughs> okay, so what do I have to do? What kind of tasks uh, do I have to do in order to... So I've caught, what, four of them? Next level is six. Without being spotted. I 
can hit one more. Okay. Ew, look how glitchy that flying Pokemon is, though, up there. Looks, that does look really bad, in fairness. When you get closer to them, they don't look as bad, but, like, when you're, like, from a distance, that, yeah, that looks really... Yeah, and then it just renders suddenly when you get closer to it. Oof. <laughs> I'm gonna get this Starly real quick. Easy does it. Yeah. <laughs> B lover says, "Mind if I ask you something? Go for it. What's up?" All right. I think we're level. Oops. What level are we now with Starly? We're still level seven. Oh, I have unreported data. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oops. I didn't realize that that Starly was right there doing his boof in the back of its head. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, throw your Pokeball. What the heck? These Starlies just keep spawning out of nowhere, dude. Uh, throw, wait, you said throw your Pokeball at the tree? Like, Cyndaquil? I'm gonna throw Cyndaquil at the tree to get these fruits down. Spoiled Apricorn, yay. Um, B-Lover says, when do you think you can stream Metopia next? Good question. I'm not totally sure. Probably in the next, com in the next couple of weeks. I'm not totally sure, though. Oh, so we have to go down there and cross down there. Okay. I hear bad music. What is that music about? <laughs> Am I in danger? Another Starly. Nice. Oh, you could throw them at rocks, you said? Like Pokemon? Okay. Tumblestone Stardust. Nice. <laughs> what is that music, though? Is it only the ones that are, like, shiny, though? Or is it all of them? It seems like it's all of them. More or less. We got some Bidoof down here. What is that thing over there? That one's moving, so we're definitely going to attack that. Not the Bidoof. Oh, Jesus, there's a Geodude. A startled Geodude. Much regrets. All the regrets. Flame it. And then, like, back up a little bit. Oh, God, it's dead. Cyndaquil just died. Okay. Let's see how, uh, Krikatoon is gonna... Oh, my God, it's big in comparison. Oh, my God, Krikatoon just killed this Geo dude. Alright. Alright, I dig it. I dig it. Don't forget to do the research task for, uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> How do you complete the research tasks, though? I'm not seeing that. Tasks with unreported data. Yeah.
I'm digging this cricket tune, though. <laughs> Hi, Badoof. Oh, what is that? Is that a big alpha Badoof? Oh, we got a big alpha Badoof. We about to throw down with an alpha Badoof. Yo, alpha Badoof. We about to scrap, scrap with Alpha Badoof right now. Oh, it's a Bibberell? Is that an, uh... Oh no, Cricketune! Oh no. That was not enough, Cricketune. I'm so dead, dude. Cricketune just died. We're screwed. We're done. It's over. It's over. Uh... <laughs> I choose you. Question mark. I think I have a revive though. I have a revive that I can throw on Cricketune then. I think. Thundershock. Paralyze this thing. Oh yeah, big money. We're gonna throw a Pokeball at it. Oh, Shinx, you're dead too. No, no, it's still alive a little bit. Okay. Yeah, throw a Pokeball and see if that works. Come on, baby. Oh, baby, we caught it. We caught it. Chat's telling me to run away. Nah. Nah, chill. <laughs> we got her done, baby. We got two alphas now on the squad. Okay. Uh. Yeah, so. um, We're going to come over here and grab one of these revives. And we're going to use it on Cricketune. And we're going to use an... Okay. We're going to use another one on Cyndaquil. Okay. And then we got potions. 100 HP to a single... I don't even know. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know. 100 HP is too much for us, any one of these. Boom. Regular potions are good to go. Oh, wait, I should really revive up, uh, or heal up Shinx, too. You did good, kid. You, you done good. You fought the hard fight, and we got her done. Um. So I guess we're just gonna run through here? Question mark? <laughs> At some point, I want a whole squad of alphas. Oh, we got this little... Oh, he got away. Crap. Can I pick that back up? No. I thought I'd be able to pick my Pokeball back up. Oh, wait. I right, could have done... Okay. Cyndaquil. I want to evolve my Cyndaquil real bad. Um... I want a Typhlosion. What is that? Wait, first of all, what is this? Black tonic. Okay. Is this alive or what? What is? Oh, it's alive. Okay. Okay. Caught a Silcoon. I was like, I don't really know what that is. It wasn't until it turned around. Is that a Psyduck over there? It is. There's one Psyduck. I'm gonna catch another one over there. Catching all the Psyduck. And there's something shaking in that tree over there, so we're gonna... Oh, there's some more Pokemon over there, too. Cyndaquil, be ready to fight. Oh, what is that? A Combi? <laughs> Cyndaquil, you take a lot of damage really quickly. Burn this thing. To a crisp. Oh, I didn't actually mean to kill it. 
Although I guess I did technically tell it to burn into a crisp, so. Oops, Daisy. Go after this guy here. Oh no! Stupid butterfly! Get it. <laughs> what? Oh, you. Now you're gonna get beat down. Cyndaquil. Beautiful. Beautiful eye? Quick attack, beautiful. Or on beautiful eye. Quick attack again. Try to beat it into submission. Iron defense. Shut up. Cool. Quick attack again. Poison sting. Okay. Uh, so Cyndaquil has been poisoned. Throw a Pokeball. See if it's weakened enough now. Yes, beautiful eyes mine. Come back, Cyndaquil. You you done good. Move mastered. Yes. Okay. <laughs> There's another beautiful eye up there, but I don't really care about the beautiful eye all that much. But uh... oh, a scythe. Oh, scyther. Now we're talking, baby. Oh, jeez. Am I stuck? Guys, send help. I just wanted a Scyther. That's all I wanted. This sucks. Now I'm gonna drown. I just drowned. I didn't even know you could do that. How do I get across this stupid river? I just want a scyther. There's some wormples down here that I could slaughter. Today I drowned. Today I learned that you can drown. Not here for you, wormple. Hi <laughs> Oh yeah. I gotta keep an eye on it. I got only got twenty-two Pokeballs left. <laughs> yeah, that's great and all, but hold up, I'm going for one of these scythers. Why can I not run up this? Oh my lord. Okay, we made it up. We're going for Scyther. Why is it so hard to run up a slight incline like that? Jeez. <laughs> Let me use Geodude on this one, I think. Oh, crap. I've been spotted. Let's go, Scyther. Okay. Use tackle. Alright. I'm trying to just weaken him. I, I wanted to make sure I knew uh, a move that I could use that would take off small sections of his health at a time. So I'm thinking... Um, I'm going to have Geodude keep going until he dies. Actually, you know what? Scyther... Might be weakened enough now. Ooh, hang on, Geo, dude. <laughs> Boom. Come on, Scyther. Stay in there, bud. Yes! That's it. You caught Scyther. Scyther! Oh, yeah. Okay, so Starly and, and Shinx can evolve. How does one do that? How do I report these things? Don't they just happen when I go to the next base or whatever?
Oh, here's this literal child. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. <laughs> Ain't no thang, dude. I've got two alphas on my squad now. Or I, I will as soon as I get to the next uh, thingamajig. Um, I will tell you why you can't climb that, but you have to read slowly. It can be a spoiler. Is it okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Take Pokemons and click them and click Evolve. Okay. Uh, and you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. <laughs> Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. <laughs> oh, anything? Oh, well, in that, in that case... Oh, such earnest desire to meet Mighty Cleaver. I have to admit I'm struck by your passion. <laughs> but, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irida that I am not... I am to let no one near Cleara. Or Cle Cleara. Cleaver. Yeah, but she sent me, didn't she? I will fight you off myself, if you insist. I will put you down so hard, kid. You have no idea. Oh, I have to... Okay, I need a Pokemon to... I need to ride a Pokemon that climbs that. Okay. Well, so was I not supposed to be able to get up there with the Scyther? I just found a way to do it? Uh, if you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can. Or face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Dude, Gumi's about to be f rushed to the ER. I'm just telling you that right now. Geodude's half dead, dude. I don't want to switch Pokemon. Yeah, Gumi's dead. That's embarrassing, too. It's embarrassing that I just got wrecked with one turn. I did not... Uh-oh, what's this? Alpha Cricketune? Y'all about to get wrecked now, son. <laughs> Absorb this punk. Oh, that wasn't that great. Uh. Strong style. Why is he getting closer? Gumi, you gotta back up, dude. <laughs> How you like that, Gumi? Oh, Gumi's gonna go strong style now. Weak sauce. Weak sauce. Weak sauce, Gumi. <laughs> Absorb some of your uh, some more of your health and take it back. Use bubble. Alright, you know what? Let's Let's finish this. Strong style. Let's finish it. Night night, Gumi. You defeated Gumi. Battle decided. I mean, that's. I feel like it's almost not fair because most of these people have one Pokemon to their name. Like, he had Gumi. And I have six that I can cycle through before the battle is decided in on their behalf. It's not really fair. But, how can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. Not with uh, my alphas. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A, ni a nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his lo loyal warden. That's me, of course. Is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that, that an outsider like you can do. <laughs> the ancestors of Cleaver were dear, and their cohort drew on almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it's said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still live in this vast Hisui today. <laughs> Irida, what are you doing here? Let him pass, little brother. As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. 
If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But alas. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict between both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? Uh, I'll figure something out. Brute force! We'll beat it into submission! We'll kill your god! <laughs> Very well. Uh, Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleaver, in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a, well, a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of Vas Hisui. You said I have to find a bomb? <laughs> Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Yes, instant travel. Press the X button while consulting the map on your arc phone to instantly travel to base camps and other locations. However, be aware that this feature might not be usable in some situations. Probably like when you're in the middle of a battle or something. That would be... That's usually when fast travel is disengaged. Um... Okay. Oh. Evolve. We're going to evolve Starly. Alright, I will say that's pretty dope in evolution animations. Oh, yeah! Your Starly evolved into Staravia. Oh, yeah! And then Shinx. Yeah, you look way too childish, Shinx. Let's do it. Evolve you. Make you look more impressive. Yeah, these, these evolution animations are pretty dope, I will say. I'm really here for it. Oh, yeah. Now it's a, li a little bit angrier, but still too cute for its own good. Your Shinx evolved into a Luxio. I should revive this thing, huh? And then potions. Well, I guess I don't really need to. I probably wasted a thing in there too. Um. So can use my arc phone to travel. It said. So where am I going? Back here. Yeah, right here. Uh. So where's my instant travel ability? go here okay so we're gonna fast travel there so you can't go to like every little pinpoint uh but you can fast travel the whole regions and that's where the pinpoints are okay good to see you john and how is your research into cleaver going swimmingly i expect eh oh ho is that so now that's quite the tidbit so a serving of his favorite foods will normally make uh cleaver quite agreeable is that it I need to mold this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Oh yeah! Reward for this survey, 4,000. Oh yeah! Big monies. Research tax completed. Cool. 